got this shit knocking low. Discussing some internet options for people that live in the United States that still live outside of city limits to where you can get really good internet connection, right? I know in my area, broadband connection is very poor where I live, so I had to find another way to get really fast internet. And here's a couple of things I've tried, and I'll tell you what my permanent solutions was after this. So the first, probably most common or the quickest and already accessible uh, option for the internet is just using a cell phone, just turning on the hotspot. Uh, that only allows up to five devices, and that's really not what a phone's made for. So you'll you'll get a lot lots of times you'll have devices having issues connecting, or they'll just drop the connection. Uh, once you connect two to three, the connection start to really struggle a little bit. That's really not a good option. The next one is pretty common. It's just a uh, just a mobile hotspot. It's got an external battery in it, so you can actually use it without without it being plugged in. And it can this one can handle up to ten devices at once. But yet and still, it, it's made for that and it works well. But at times, it does drop the connection. It can be slow. Now moving moving on, they have newer devices, and this particular device hadn't been out too long. Um, it's only available through AT&T, and it works really well. Now, over over the years, as you can tell, they, you know, these two are are strictly wireless. Whereas this guy now introduced an Ethernet port. So, and that's really a game changer, believe it or not. That one port really changes things for you. You can do so much with that that Ethernet port, like hooking up a secondary router. For additional ports, a secondary switch if you need additional ports, or if you had an older, let's say you got an old computer and it needs a physical connection, there's your port to do so. And like I said, if you need multiple ports, like if you plan on hooking up security cameras and things like that, so you couldn't do security cameras with these. You can't do it because they don't have any physical ports. But with this one, you can actually um, hook up another switch to this and actually give it internet, which which is awesome so that just kind of that kind of expands it make it's mobile yet it can be set up to where it can be a permanent fixed solution for a home all right and this device itself can hold up to 20 devices all right so so 5 10 20 as far as the device that can be connected at a single time right this one has a, a pretty good range as far as uh the wi-fi signal you can set it to um small, I'm sorry, short, medium, and long. Um, I go ahead out the box, throw it on long. Um, long just stretches um, stretches the battery a little bit. Oh, also, yeah, just in case you didn't know, this is mobile as well. Or you can leave it plugged into the AC power without the battery to save the battery life. And then until you go, actually, let's say you go out of town, you can have it plugged into your home, just, just regular AC, no battery in it, not burning out your battery. But then when you get ready to leave to go out of town, you can pop in a battery and, and you're up and running on the internet. Okay, so it has a... a LCD screen, it doesn't display too much information, just like some data, the data stuff, the amount of gigs you're using, uh, your your SSID and the password, stuff like that. Uh, it's a really simple device. Um, and also, these little feet come off to expose uh, an external antenna port. So if where you are, you're, you're not getting the best signal and you want to attempt to get better signal, you can actually purchase some external antennas to hook up to this guy and, and it's one more on this side as well so so that's a pretty cool feature this is the the mofi this is actually a really good lte router you plug the sim card directly in the side of it right there you plug it directly in there and it picks up at&t's internet server sends it to this device so you notice it has four antennas uh, the back four, these big guys are for the LTE antennas, and the two up front are for 
just Wi-Fi in the home. So it, it actually gets the LTE signal and distributes it across the Wi-Fi. Um, and, and like I said, these are the front antennas to do so. All right. Now, another cool thing about it, it's got four Ethernet ports like a traditional router would have. So that's a really cool feature. It also has a, this blue port is for a secondary backup connection. In case LT fails, it'll jump over to the secondary connection. Uh, most people won't use that, but it is there in case you need it. Um, it has several features that are, are really good in, in the user interface. It is very intuitive, and but it is very user friendly. If, you don't, if you're not gonna get into port forwarding or, or DMZ, stuff like that, you can just treat it like a basic router do a couple configuration changes, like change the password if you choose to, uh, stuff like that, and you're off and running. But if you wanna get into the big detail technical stuff, like I said, like port forwarding, DMZ, stuff like that, you can definitely do that with this router. And also, if you're interested in getting a public IP address, you can actually get that from this company as well. So if you're getting into um, doing some DNS type stuff, you definitely can do that with this router. So the two antennas that you see, the bigger two, the bigger two paddle antennas, these are the LTE antennas. So both of these pull signal from the, the cell phone carrier. And also, just, just so you know, this one is tied to AT&T. I'm not sure if it works with any other carrier. Uh, but this one actually will work with any of the carriers. Um, like I said, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, and AT&T. So if you have, um, uh, if you have a different carrier other than AT&T, you can't use this one. But this one you definitely can with any carrier. Okay. Now going going along, these are the LTE antennas, the the paddle antennas. These are these are extra, but it's only like ten extra dollars to get. To get it, if you don't go with it, ten extra dollars, you'll get antennas that's thin like these, and they work too. And, and truthfully, I swapped them out and tried. I didn't notice a huge difference in it, but it could have just it could just be my area, All right? So just to recap, LTE, the two big paddle ones, Wi-Fi, the, the back ones. Okay, it, it comes with instructions when you first buy it to tell you the SSID and the password to let you on. But just like all stuff you buy out of the store, it, it's some random crazy password so it's not hard at all to log in to change the ssid to something that you want like your you know your last name or, or you know just something simple set the password up to make it as simple or as hard as you like so it's, it's really easy to set up the wireless on on either of these devices honestly it's not hard at all but again if you live in an area where your internet connection from your broadband carrier is not that great you may want to look into purchasing a solution like this. Um, and, and my thought behind it is if you're paying, let's say, $60 for a 5 megabit um, internet connection or less, then you really are paying too much. You could get way better on LTE for about the same or if not a little bit more money, right? So I'm gonna give you an example. I, I was on um, CenturyLink broadband internet. I was getting like two meg. I just built my home. They were the only carrier that came out here. So I looked up, did some research and found these solutions. All right. Of course I tried this, but I have Verizon. Verizon doesn't work in my, in my area. So this wasn't any good and it wasn't gonna be a permanent solution. Um, went to this this worked better on AT&T but again it didn't have any physical port so I, I was screwed when it come came to my security cameras and all my smart home stuff all right so at the time this wasn't available I lucky enough and found this guy this solved all my problems with AT&T which is the best carrier in my area I was I was able to get roughly about 22 meg up and about 40 or 50 down so i mean it was amazing this this pretty much changed everything and i paid i was paying 95 dollars for at&t's unlimited plan that was awesome and i still have it 
but now I work with directly with AT&T and I can actually provide anyone LTE internet service through AT&T for right at $70 a month. That's taxes included. And that's a great deal. So if you are in a situation like me and you need internet and you know AT&T works good in your area, I can save you roughly $35 on your AT&T LTE service. Well, AT&T phone, internet, text. I mean, it's really just a SIM card that can do it all. I can actually save you $35 um, going straight through me. So if you're looking for something like that, just reach out to me and I'll explain all the details for payment. But going back to just all these devices, this was the only one at the time. And I was getting 20 down, I'm sorry, 20 up and 60 down. Amazing. And it worked great. Now, recently I've been using this guy just to test it out because it is the newest one and it works really good. My speed pretty much is the same from this one to this one. But this one, like I said, this is more of a mobile solution. And I like the idea of carrying this device around uh, when I go on family trips. Now, of course, if you're going to do a in-home solution, there's multiple people in your house. You can, if you get this one, you can't take it because you're going to take away the Internet from everybody else in your house. But if it's just you or your spouse and y'all are leaving together, then sure you can take it. Now, I won't be keeping this one only because I do have a lot of smart home security stuff and, and I need the additional ports that this one gives. But I'm just going to stop uh, running my mouth and I'm just going to kind of rate them as to which one I would go with. All right. Of course, this one's going to be the least. Well, what I'll do is rank them from, from four to one. Of course, this will be number four. Of course, this will be number three. These two are interchangeable. I, I, I just, it's hard for me to say which one I like better. I think this one is cooler when it comes to mobility. And that's another thing. When it comes to mobility, if you want something mobile, this is definitely the way to go. I mean, it, it, it gets no better as far as mobility than this one right here. It gives you the port. It gives you a long, it comes with a long extended life battery. Probably can run internet heavy for about eight hours solid before you have to plug it up and charge it. This one, you have to plug it in the AC power for it to work. So if you're looking for something that's that just going to give you really good internet connection, a lot of features, and, and it's mobile, I would go with this one. But if you just want something for a permanent home or business solution, I would go with this one because it gives you all the ports natively. And you can also expand it if you need to, to a bigger switch or a bigger router. All right. So, but it's a toss up. But if I had to put a number on it, I would go two and one. So again, that'll be four, three, two, and one. This device, very good. Unlimited amount of devices. And that's another thing. This one is more like your home routers to where you can just, just connect every any and everything to it and it can handle it. So, so 20 devices here. This one, it may be an official number of how many devices it can handle, but I'm going to say it can easily handle 50 devices. And the reason I say that because I have several Fire Sticks. I have uh, Echo Dots. I have Google Homes. I have uh, Chromecast. I got Smart Things lights. I, I got just regular TV connection, laptops, iPhones. You name it, I got it connected. So definitely this device, if you just got Buku amounts of devices, you're trying to connect to it. Um this one doesn't give you that flexibility. This one doesn't, and definitely not that. So, uh, in summary, they all work really good, but if you want a permanent solution, it's got to be one of these two. It's got to be, because it gives you a physical port, and that's crucial when it comes to hooking up security cameras and smart things and just all this other stuff that requires a, a physical connection that's not exactly wireless. All right. All right. That about does it. I thank you for watching. Um, I hope this was informative. And again, I will have these two will be on my eBay page for sale. I have about four or five unlimited SIM cards that I can sell um, through AT&T for $70. And this is not the the new unlimited plan to where they cap you at 22 gig. This is a truly unlimited and I have been using this. Like I said, I've been on it myself for over two years. 
Um, I've been giving this to family members and friends over, throughout the years. Um, it's just a really good deal that me and AT&T has that where um, I can offer this pretty much as a group plan where it's unlimited data for all. Um, so if you're interested, just um, look in the link and you will be taken to my eBay page. And the prices, um, I'll actually give you a price break if you wanted to, to do business outside of eBay, simply for the fact that I don't have to pay the uh, eBay charges. And that's the only reason. So if you go to eBay and you'll see the prices higher than I mentioned is because I have to account for the fees that eBay sell, that, that eBay charges. So if you wanted to deal directly, you can just let me know and, uh, and we'll work it out. Of course, through PayPal or Google Wallet, you know, something safe for both of us. Um, and it's just as simple as that. I, I thank you guys and just, just enjoy the video for geek sakes.